hello friends uh, welcome back to another video in uh, today's video we are going to discuss what is max delta and min delta in order flow aka footprint charts so as the name says max delta is uh, maximum delta within a candlestick and min delta is the minimum delta uh, before we proceed ahead the platform that i'm using here is uh, gocharting.com so you can go out there and check out the platform for yourself now uh, moving ahead uh, what, what is delta firstly we're going to discuss that i know it's, it's a very uh, novice thing to discuss at this point but uh, since uh, many of you would be new here so i'll just give a, give a little bit of uh, starting uh, or rather a reference point for what delta is delta is nothing but uh, the difference between the buyers and the sellers the buyers are the market uh, buy orders that we see in the uh, market and the sellers are the market sell orders so uh, i'll reiterate again there are two types of orders one is the mark one is a market buy market order rather and the other is a limit order so what you see on your terminal on your uh, broker when you are going to place an order if you're going to place limit order or market order so uh, what you see on your broker terminal is a limit order you don't see orders that are punched at market on your broker or any other platform unless until you have tick by tick data and footprint charts so what footprint charts uh, brings out to you is the uh, market orders now when these orders uh, are plotted like this uh, there is something known as delta that uh, we see very often talked about that is uh, over here that you can see so delta is uh, nothing but uh, the difference between market buyers and sellers so if it is positive uh, we say uh, that the buyers were more than the aggressors as in within a candlestick and uh, the right way to say it is the, that the buyers were more aggressive than the uh, sellers and vice versa if the uh, market sellers are more the market buy orders then uh, we have a positive okay so uh, uh, moving ahead what is max delta so within a candlestick at any point when you had uh, the delta reaching the maximum either it be uh, that is in the positive sense that is for example say 695 over here that means that uh, at in this bar the maximum buying pressure that was due to the uh, market buy orders was uh, plus 695 so at any point during this candle this was the maximum delta on the positive side okay and finally eventually if you see the candlestick it closes at 684 so it is not too far away from the maximum delta that was at any given point of time in the candlesticks that that gives us a hint that since these two are very close to each other these two figures that means the sellers have haven't stepped in as of now okay so this is a very important point to remember similarly when you have a negative value uh, the sellers are aggressive and um, the min delta again stands for the minimum delta or the maximum uh, you can say the maximum number of sellers at any given point uh, within a candlestick so for example here straight away we can see minus 1.17 is the figure and the delta is uh, quite close to it so this is another example of what we spoke about that there was absolutely no buying presence in this candle and uh, again you can see uh, what happened and it is quite obvious from the way the candle closes similarly over here uh, what we see here is uh, the min delta very close to uh, the actual delta okay but there is still some amount of difference now the difference between these two candles is that there is some amount of presence of buyers that has stepped in even when you look on this side so what i have plotted over here is uh, on the right side we have the volume and on the left side we have the delta plotted so it is quite easy for us to understand at what points the volumes were very high and uh, concurrently on the left side we see uh, at what points the delta was very high either be positive or negative okay so now uh, that we have gone and understood what uh, max and mil delta stand for let's go ahead and learn how do we use it okay the first thing that uh, we've been discussing all over in our previous videos as well is that uh, the uh, way to use footprint charts or important uh, i mean nuances within footprint charts is to have a look or analyze the footprint charts at important reference zones okay at important uh, zones where you have infliction points for example a previous support or a pre previous resistance now these zones uh, 
need not be marked only from a I mean a traditional or conventional uh, price action chart or a basic candlestick chart you can do it from within a, a, I mean a chart like this as well what do I mean by that so if you go ahead and this is the imbalance levels that have been plotted and I have been uh, sharing this in my previous videos as well so so you see I've done nothing I've just uh, zoomed out and panned out a little bit and I see straight away the zones the support and resistance zones that are marked the magenta line is the resistance zone and uh, the blue line is the support zone so i've just gone in the previous day and found out the uh, zones that are important you can even mark them and extend them uh, for your future references so you see these are these zones really play out uh, very beautifully uh, especially on the longer time frame or uh, for example here we have a five minute chart and we look at the uh, I mean the zones that have uh, that were plotted due to aggression shown by one side the next day we come there uh, they're actually acting quite uh, efficiently over here as you can see it acts as a uh, resistance zone here and again uh, uh, this one acts as a uh, support zone now the important part to uh, always uh, keep in mind is these zones are of great significance when you have these high volume nodes accompanying them okay so this is at the top so you should have some sort of volume accompanying them so that this becomes of greater significance similarly over here where you see a zone this was formed when there was a relatively higher volume than the other candle so this becomes an important zone for you and so on so you can keep uh, i mean pl uh, plotting these zones and extending these zones for your reference uh, provided they are at high volume zone so this concept is uh, what we're going to use in our today's video as well for uh, understanding how we can use max delta and min delta now uh, the very um, common explanation or uh, the very i mean naive uh, you can say uh, basic explanation of using max delta is whenever there is a max delta very max high uh, delta like uh, with along with accompanied with delta uh, you can go long or if there is a min delta really high min delta for example like this minus 1.47 k you can go short can you see something over here it it's not that simple okay if you go short after this or even after this there is nothing you get so the smart way of using max delta and min delta is these zones are not for finding trades in the direction of the uh, trend that has been happening i.e for for example this one is over here is minus 1.47 so we're going to plot zones and we're not going to find uh, trades towards the same direction that is going down we're going to mark these zones towards finding a trade in the opposite direction that is we are going to use max delta and min delta for finding reversal trades okay so what do i mean by that let's start by today's uh, market and it works almost every time again almost every time doesn't mean 100 percent it is it is a great way to form an edge which can give you 60 70 percent profitable trades now that is a good percentage accompanied with good risk reward you will get uh, really good results with this so as i said uh, for example let's move to this is today's session okay let's start from the beginning uh, this is what happens uh, let's not uh, think about the imbalance zones again there are also a great indicator but uh, the first five minutes we ignore and the next one uh, we start i mean the first 15 minutes is a lot of orders i keep telling that it's no point using these uh, levels because you don't know actually what happened there are a lot of orders uh, pending from the previous day and uh, the new day new positions forming it is very difficult to make up so what we do is uh, we look at these values now i have plotted it in such a manner that uh, a dark blue shade indicates that the max delta at that particular point uh, was really high so i just i don't have to look at the numbers i really have to just look at the shade and i get to know so the first one that we get here is uh, now these are high numbers that are coming and uh, if you can you can go ahead and start plotting them uh, one by one so for example uh, we'll start plotting them uh, one by one so the first i mean relatively uh, we've been seeing uh, this number minus 724 is a high number so what is the zone first zone that comes into mind is this one and uh, we will mark this as uh, i mean if it goes above this we are going to be looking for a long trade so what we are going to mark it with is white in color or something like that okay similarly uh, for resistance zones we are going to mark it with uh, red in color okay so we come down 
and we see a follow through. So what we are not going to use it uh, uh, in this instance, as we said, is not to find continuation trades. We're going to look for reversal trades. Of course, there are other setups that would have popped up uh, uh, um, in conjunction with footprints. But as of now, we are learning how to use uh, max delta and min delta. OK, so uh, after this, what we see is the uh, max delta and the min delta values dropping. OK. And in this, uh, at this juncture, what we, what we see is a really humongous number, minus 1.47. Now, this is almost double the previous value. So we mark this zone, okay, and uh, we color it again uh, to be something white, okay. So now we're going to be interested in anything above this, okay. Above this zone, we're going to be interested in buying, uh, the, the I mean, buying or taking a long trade. And uh, why? Because all these these max delta levels implies what they were really high uh, sell orders that were placed so someone obviously would have taken the opposite side and we want them to get into the market and show us some signs that they are in there and we can see a possible reversal so after this point these two zones even this one minus 8.97 you can mark this as well so these are uh, zones which are very close to each other and we will uh, color this as well as white okay and these are the zones after which uh, I'm sorry we didn't get that done okay so after this uh, when they're very close by you can initiate any long trade uh, just when it crosses this point and the stop loss of course will be this so uh, you can see this playing out again and again with a very very high probability okay let's go ahead and this time what we will do is uh, find places where we can find uh, the max delta that is uh, right now we've used min delta uh, to find trades like this the next thing we will do is the places where we can get uh, max delta now another important thing or uh, uh, i mean uh, a good thing about max delta and min delta is when you see high values like this okay it generally indicates there are stops also in play it is not only aggressive buyers or aggressive sellers it is along with stops that have uh, been triggered so what you want to see after such high values is uh, i mean it is obviously a continuation but generally if the market is in mean reversion mode okay what the market uh, like a day like today what the market would do is uh, try to reverse or go to the other direction or the opposite direction which happened a lot of times today so then in this scenario this this particular indicator or this particular tool comes in real real handy to take uh, trades at positions uh, that are in our favor so the next time when we see something like this is somewhere here okay now uh, we will mark this zone and we see the max delta popping out to be uh, a high number over here so what we have understood from today's session is anything about seven eight hundred is a good number to uh, to be dealing with so this is the zone if we mark correctly this is the zone and this time we're going to plot it as red so what are we going to do uh, what we're going to do is any time it goes below this is when we initiate a shot so the other one that happens is uh, somewhere somewhere in this zone so uh, the logic behind this is that uh, these numbers would have a lot of players getting trapped okay of course there were stops in play and if the buyers really wanted to continue they shouldn't have allowed it to go below this now what you'll generally see is uh, in this max delta and min delta is these values tend to be uh, quite close to each other it is the same uh, the first time when it happens it generally doesn't reverse it takes a little bit of more stops and comes back so it on a mean reversion day this uh, you will see this playing out a lot okay something like this what happened over here 890 followed by 149 uh, something like this these zones will be very close this is a perfect setup to take a reversal trade okay so uh, similarly when you go here you see an exactly same thing forming over here okay and uh, when we when we go below this you can initiate a shot of course this one doesn't play out that much the vwap it does give you some points as in when you enter a shot here somewhere your stop loss again becomes somewhere here and your target becomes one is to one is somewhere here uh, it gives one to one but it reverses just too bad it does happen a lot of times and uh, you should be ready to take your stops and the second time it happens here is uh, uh, now we're waiting for it to again uh, go down and give us another opportunity now you look over here these are again two very close by zones like we just spoke about and we'll mark these zones as well it makes a new high over here okay and 
one two and three so these are the places we're going to mark okay so uh, this is one zone let us mark this as red so it's not that difficult it's just you have to be uh, sorry for that let's mark it as red and another one over here this is another level that let's combine this zone and you see them coming very close by to each other so even on a trending day if you're looking for a short quick shot i mean liquidation break even if this happening this is happening on a trending day what will generally happen on a trend day is these zones will not break even if they're uh, i mean what will happen is the maximum they'll go is here and come back and pop up and take out another set of stop losses but when you are uh, on a trend day and you see uh, two like this break you can take a quick scalp to the other end and uh, because that is very common on a trend day in the later part of the trend where they do take out people uh, because of a quick liquidation break and again they will take everybody out and go on the opposite direction so this is another way even on a trend day to use this particular tool but on a mean reversion day of course it is really really helpful and the last one is uh, somewhere here which is over here so we have very close uh, zones marked and it makes our job uh, easier in the sense that uh, since they're very close as soon as uh, any two of them break we try to initiate a shot so these two are the levels and uh, somewhere here you can initiate a shot where you know that uh, again if this uh, holds or if this breaks there are going to a lot of people a lot of uh, buyers and the shots which got triggered on one band what it does is it i mean uh, invites a lot of buyers waiting for a breakout and uh, they take a lot of new positions hoping that it continues and it moves another 50 100 points and when this happens the stops are triggered in the opposite direction so what i mean by that is when this happens you can initiate a shot immediately after the second zone is broken uh, this would be an aggressive entry you can try that like we did in the previous uh, case just we, which we just discussed and the stop is just this much above this poc and the move again could be to the zone here or this one okay now what it does is as soon as it moves below we know a lot of people are going to get trapped a lot of buyers that have stepped in late will get trapped and what happens is the stops now will get triggered on the opposite direction which is uh, which is shown over here so you can plot and do the same thing right over again okay plot those zones and above which only will you take a buy so this is a very very common phenomenon in um, uh, on mean reversion days or or uh, what do you call uh, I mean a neutral day like today where the market moves from one end to the other and uh, it takes out stops from all ends so the smart way to get not be caught in moves like this and always be ready is uh, you should have these zones marked and uh, you should not initiate a long for example if one two and this third one there is no chance you initiate a long unless until you see uh, something of this sort happening especially on a mean reversion day and how do you know even if you've not been uh, i mean involved in during the first half of the session you see the range of the previous day it has been absolutely within this range so when this happens during the first hour and a half you can expect the same thing to continue throughout the day and uh, that is what happens and you can trade uh, i mean plan your trade smartly using this uh, particular tool in the footprint chart uh, i hope this uh, video was of some uh, helps and uh, please uh, do comment section below uh, as to which other videos or concepts you would like to be uh, so that we can make videos on them until next time bye bye